Hello everyone! Welcome to Banzai Escape! I'm not sure why it's called that, because there's not much Banzai and we are not the ones escaping. But it's an indie Malaysian anime style third person on rails shooter, which is certainly a uh, unique combination. I like uh, on-rail shooters every now and then, so uh, that's why this game caught my eye when it was first released around, I think it was 2015. Yeah, I didn't get it on release, I got it when the sequel released. And oh boy, the sequel is another story. Oh yeah, one of the reasons why I'm playing this now is because I want to show you the sequel as well. It's quite something. Alright, okay, so it's a relatively simple game. All you need to know is this here is Rokia Uh She's going to go into this tower and detain a guy called Mr. Asward Baters. That's, that's all you need to know, really. Uh, let's have a little look at the options first, just to be sure. Uh, this is a game made in Unity, but... Uh, it, uh, it manages to, well, cover it up relatively well. Although, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. <gasps> ah, man, I feel like I've said too much already. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, one thing I want to point out is I've adjusted the volume levels to where I feel it's most comfortable, but well, there's no separate uh, option for sound effects, which is a shame because the well, sometimes well the sound effects are louder than the music, but the music is also louder than the dialogue, and the music is good. But if we we have to turn it kind of low if we want to hear the dialogue right. But the game does have subtitles, so that's fine. Okay, let us start a new game. Starting a new game will delete the old saves. Go ahead. Alright, so we're, we're brought to this screen. We have campaign and customize. There's nothing we can do in customize at the moment. So let's start the campaign. The first tutorial level. Familiarize yourself to the game's controls and environment. Always nice when a game has a tutorial. Wanna, wanna set some rules, have a nice, fair game. I've got to say that I only just realized that's quite a unique parachute <laughs> filled with helium. I've safely touched down on enemy territory. Ah, that was a nice little glitch there. <laughs> All right, we can click the dialogue box to continue. That's Captain Benchy. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, apparently Rakia he is a lieutenant. It's not like it mat matters. The alarms aren't blaring. Looks like they haven't noticed me yet. Good. But keep an eye out in case of anything. And now, let's learn a bit more about your surroundings. However, they do nothing against explosives, so watch out. 
Yep, like a lot of uh, other arcade shooters, we we can take cover. Okay, going. Yep, space to get out of cover, R to reload, easy. The accuracy truly is terrible if we do not aim. We also have limited ammo while we are in the mission, so we must keep track of that. Appropriate button, very nice, very nice. You can swap positions to avoid enemy fire, especially those explosives I mentioned earlier. This tactic will give you the best chance of surviving this mission, so use it whenever it is possible. Notice the glowing circular plate on that door. I see it. Let's call it a call. A device which controls the door's locking mechanism, among other things. The calls use a color code to I, like I said, I'm glad that the game sets up some rules like this. Yeah, I, I, I just like that sort of thing, having having some nice consistent rules. It gave me a good feeling when I first played the game, a good first impression. Yeah, the explosive barrels are not red in this game. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know, we could just restart the whole game. I mean, maybe we should uh, have a look around the roof to see if there is any other access point. I've come a long way for this mission, sir. I'm ready to get down and dirty. Don't say that. Okay, well first of all, I'm going to reload. Alright, come on. Okay, now I'm going to reload again. We get money for every enemy downed. I wanted to try and be efficient about my reloads, but I could not even do that. That's a good sign. <laughs> Alright. We have unlocked Armory and CEO Office. Uh, these icons here are not entirely explained, so this icon will take you straight back to the main menu. This one will take you to the menu where you can choose between the mission and uh, customizing and this will take you straight to the next mission i want to go over here uh actually no i don't <laughs> oh yeah i forgot to mention uh with this run i am aiming for zero deaths the game will track how many times Rokia he dies. Hopefully, we'll end up with zero and get an achievement for it. If not, well, I'm, I'm not actually too fussed. I will just continue anyway. 
Not dying is easy during the first half of the game, and hard during the latter half of the game. And we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I, even the next two missions have an enemy that can potentially instantly kill us. The Machete Man. Anyhow, uh, me, Mr. Betus is located at the top floor, so let's get going. gonna do it's been a week since the bureau found out about our operation my encryption system is top-notch and fully secured but somehow they can still penetrate it any updates Ina? according to our latest info the intrusion happened on the 17th of june during maintenance session it probably occurred while we were rerouting our power source to the backup unit does the backup unit have a triple a security system it has also after we have thoroughly investigated this issue, we've deduced that our private networks have been hacked exactly during the system boot. What? But that only takes a few seconds. How could they break through the firewall that fast? That is beyond me as well, sir, but don't fret. The Centurion is already working to double up the firewall and tighten the security. I know that, but they've already sent four agents in to snoop around on us. Four of them. I feel like either they were not very good agents, or we just have a lot of agents to spare. Thankfully, we've managed to detain them and confiscated all their equipment. We also planted in our decoys to cover up our trace, so please rest assured. That's not going to help us for long. I'm pretty sure they'll send in a rescue team or something to pick them up pretty soon. Excuse me, sir. Incoming transmission. This is Ina. Okay? Oh? Right. As you've predicted, sir, one rescue squad has entered the facility. But strangely, there's only one operative. Just one guy? Did they send in a negotiator? Or are they just dumb? Hold on, sir. Yes, what is... What? What's wrong? A team of our guards have made contact with the intruder. All of them were wiped out. All two of them. But it's just one guy. Yes. All right. Understood. Sir, I think evacuation is in order. The intruder is a member of the Pascal unit. Oh, and that guy is a woman, by the way. I don't believe it's ever said what Pascal stands for. Pascal. Could this day get any better? I think it's best to move right now, Mr. Betas. Yeah, yeah, let's go. And they were right, it was best to move. Damn it, he's gone! He's managed to leave nothing important in here. Have you tried checking the other, uh, shelves? Okay, combat time! Alright. This game does have regenerating health. Just making sure. And the enemies do tend to uh, crouch in places where you can shoot their head. Ah, oh. oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, these these guys are good today. These guys are good today. Y usually they are pretty lame, but but today they are good. All done. I I want to conserve ammo right now because while this is a very short level, uh, the enemies at the end will take a lot of bullets. Okay. Now, and for the next section right here, we want to wait, 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 wait. There he is. Yes, oh man, that was close. Uh, 
Yeah, that, that, that was the machete man. And he shows up if you take a while on this segment. If, if he gets to... If, if he gets next to you, he will just kill you in one hit. Thankfully, there are not many of those guys in the game. Alright, now here are the shield people. Yeah, I know. I don't have very imaginative names for them. They all fired at once. That's a little annoying. Okay. I'm gonna spread my bullets across all of their shields. So then, I can do this. like, come on, yeah, it feels like the uh, bullets from the shield guys do more damage than the other normal handgun. Okay, since we've ran out of ammo for our MP5, we drew our pistol. Now that's, a, that's, that's one part of the game that I want to talk about, I'll get to that in a moment. Captain, as word beta's managed to flee his office. Our intel indicates that he is still somewhere inside the building. Hunt him down at all costs. Yes, sir. Okay, we unlocked a skin. Well, we unlocked skins in general. And we unlocked the spaz in the office. Okay. Alright, let's go to the armory. So, yeah, we have a variety of weapons that we can unlock. There's two of each class, aside from the default equipment, which is just default equipment. Now, okay, yeah. Uh, if, if you've run out of ammo for your main weapon, you automatically switch to the pistol. Uh, so, why would you ever buy more ammo for the pistol? <laughs> that, that's, uh, that, that's just the thing that irks me. You... The only thing you can uh, do in this menu is buy guns and extra magazines for them. Uh, yeah, I'll buy a couple of extra magazines for the MP5. Also, uh, I would just like to point out that all of the guns here have uh, real names, which is not so in the sequel. <laughs> Alright. I'm not going to bother buying the spaz. Uh, we don't have the money for it to begin with. Uh, the shotguns in this game are good, though. They are good. But they won't be used in our run, most likely. Okay. And with skins, with this menu, you can change the... well skins oh man for some reason my my brain is finding it hard to process words you can change the skins of the various characters well just just these three characters i mean they're basically the only important characters in the game so hey uh yeah we've got a uh, darker brown for rakia uh we've got cream beret it, it says cream but it looks like white it just looks like white to me. I don't know. The colours in this game do look a little bit off. Do, do, do you know what I mean? They're, they're like washed out a bit. Anyhow, uh, yeah, I've got the default navy suit, which it, it, it changes a, a very tiny bit of the default outfit. Uh, there's the peacemaker, if if you feel like you've you haven't had enough peace walker. And there's the medic suit. Uh, let's let's go with this for now, just for fun. Betas. Uh, we can we can change his ponytail color. I mean, is is that a ponytail? It I don't know. It, it kind of makes him look like a bird. <laughs> uh, sure, let's 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 me let's let's give it bluish pony. Why why is it blue? A capital, but not the rest of that. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, you, yeah, you can, you can be blue, abadi abadi. You can also have bandage. 
Yeah. Uh, we've got Default, Revengeance, Katusha, Cloth, and Spectre. Uh, Betus isn't actually a Spectre agent, so no. <laughs> Wait, I just realized it does have his name on that outfit, though. <laughs> Maybe they made a, an outfit just for him. Uh, Revengeance. I feel like that's a reference to something, but I don't know what. I'm also pretty sure a character in the sequel wears an outfit that looks like this. I'm pretty sure. Uh, f yeah, sure, you can have that for now. Ina, what can we do with you? Yeah, uh, you can you can be a brunette. We can't do anything with the head. Body, you can have smart casual clothes. Yeah. So yeah, this this game does have a measure of mod support. You you can modify uh, the texts and you can well modify some of the textures like that. It was it was uh, built with that, which is it's a nice nice thing. Always good to have a measure of built-in uh, modability. All right, last stage for today. We'll, we'll take the alternate route in the office. The elevators are offline. Follow an alternate path and resume pursuit of betas. All right, this level has uh, two machete man spots so it may kill us oh boy okay i i know how to do this i i just gotta hope that my gun is prepared all right oh man this looks like a joke I've already contacted our dealers and they have their squad of mercenaries ready to take care of the pascal they're professionals, I assure you. That's great, but I can't help but feel something's still off. Let's drop by Centurion's place. Why is that, sir? Well, we don't want every scrap of confidential data we have falling into the Pascals and Bureau's hands now, do we? Can't we just upload them to the dealers via satellite? Absolutely not. I'm not taking any chances. Knowing that our network has been compromised, even with our state-of-the-art security systems, I'd rather hand over the data personally. Good call, sir. Then I shall contact your operator to shut down the elevators as you create the backup. That should slow our intruder down. Go on ahead. Okay, and we begin just like that. All right, wait, wait. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Those are two machete men. They're, uh... Four more in this level. They all spawn during the same section. Let's see if we can get in some hits on those guys. Oh. Well, that was odd. The game does not usually stutter. The game's performance is usually good. I'm just gonna shoot this man's hand until he gives up. And of course, I'm not going to die. Okay, okay, okay. Just gotta take it easy. Be cautious. Can I, can I shoot the pixels of his arm that stick out? Well, he poked his hand out, so good for him. Good for me too. Alright. Oh, okay. It's usually a good idea to... Uh, duck into cover when uh, two or more enemies are are shooting at you. Alright, okay, this is the last enemy here, so I'm going to reload my gun and then reload again. You can't reload during a transition, but you can reload before a transition. Yes, okay, I got all of them. Nice, okay. It, it, that that doesn't always happen. Thankfully, my practice has paid off. 
So th these guys are Spectre, and they're wielding the Spaz shotgun. And they, they, they seem to be extremely hesitant to use it. Oh, except for that guy. Oh, and that guy. It's too bad they all kind of died. But hey, we got through it. We did not die to the Machete Man. I don't think the Machete Man spawns anywhere else in the game. So, hurrah for that. Sir, it seems that the elevators were shut down. I think I'd best take the high road, guards and all. Still, something about them looks familiar. Be careful, Rookie He. Looks like Betas has some pretty bad mother huggers under his payroll. Pretty bad mother huggers. Who are they, sir? I mean, tough guys do like their mums. It's Spectre. And right now, they're packing some serious heat just to take you down. Spectre, huh? I'll keep my eyes peeled even wider than I mean, yeah, you're gonna need a serious heat to take down Rakiahi. <laughs> Just you wait. Oh, and this just in. We've managed to capture Betas' thermal image somewhere in floor 53. Head there ASAP. It's about time to upgrade your armament. Some of your guns wouldn't be effective for the fighting ahead. Some of your gun would be none effective on the fighting ahead. Re read read it, Benchy. Don't don't ad lib your own fixed version. All right, and we unlocked uh, a new shotgun and our first assault rifle, which is definitely what we're going to be using. Uh, I'll have to do a bit of grinding off screen to get that money because I absolutely do not want to go into the data core with the MP5. That would be silly. Uh, more, more about why I would not want to do that when we get there. So, for now, thank you for watching. This is not going to be a long game. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's it's one that I... I don't know. It, it just feels right to me. I, I like the game. It has a certain uh, combination of minor things that really appeal to me. But more about that as we go on and so on so uh have a nice day bye bye